Hello everyone, welcome back everyone to our, our little episode of the World Series. So today, we're continuing where we left off. We barely, I mean barely, won game three. It was so stressed, it was down to the wire. I think one of our batters ended up getting us a home run to win the game. Uh, it was stress. So once again, I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday. Maybe about time this recording is probably getting close to the end of the World Series. Or the World Series has just ended and this is be the last. So hopefully this is be our last one. And we're just one more game. We win this game. We win the World Series for my own little career I'm doing off camera. I've been playing this game. Now, people are saying, well, Pete, Justin, people will be like, wait a minute, John, why are you not playing with the new one? I don't have the new one. If you think the new MLB one is fun for, like, the PlayStation or whatever, let me know in the comments section if it is. I might get that sometime down the road. So, but right now, so if you guys want me to do a career mode on this, let me know in the comment section in Major League Baseball 2K11. Let me know in the comment section if we should do a career mode. Okay, so now we got game Three. It all comes down to this. Are we going to win? We're going to find out. Let's do this. Let's go win a World Series, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. See, that was pretty close from game three. It was seven to six. It was really tight. We were losing and we came back out of nowhere. So now it all comes down to this. Are we going to win game four or we're going to have to do another one? I want this one to be it. Let's go win the World Series. Let's do it. What a dominating performance we have seen. We are in game four of the World Series, and it is three zip. Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, and John Cruck, and we're ready to go. Tremendous force at the plate. Maybe the game's best ball player right now, Albert Poole. Our site for this ball game tonight is Bush Stadium, the home of the Cardinals. And we're going to see Adam Wainwright, the starting pitcher. Steve, as he faces these Cleveland hitters, primary emphasis is what? Now this right-hander brings outstanding stuff to the mound every time he takes the ball against a lineup that can be somewhat of a challenge at times for pitchers, but if he's on top of his game, he should be able to shut them down. We've got a moment to check out that lineup for the Indians. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, a great left-handed stroke in that Shinsu Chu. The guy can do a lot of things. A great outfielder, great throwing arm. But boy, I tell you what, watch that pop come off his back for a guy who's not very big in stature. He hits balls like a six foot four, 250 pound guy. Dave, you take a look at these two teams. How about a thought or two on the Cardinals? When you're a kid growing up, you dream of this moment. You run around. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. As he drops back and puts it away. That will hold the runner at second. Cougars in the box. Two outs and nobody on. There's contact. He drove it well. And there's the third up. Bar. That sucked. Last time up, flew up. Ah, oh, now it looks like I'm up to bat and we're leading one to nothing right now. One out, runner on at first. Come on, let's make this three to nothing. And the first pitch. Oh! It's fouled away. The pitch from Carmona. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And it gets through. Keep the streak going. Well, he feel playing back in this situation and well hit ball just getting by him for a base hit. There we go. Albert Pujols now with one away. He had a single in his last time up. Wasn't very far off the bag, so he gets back easily. There we go. Albert Pujols. First pitch to Pujols. Ball! Carmona's wide that time for a ball. Well, this broke a little bit too much out of the zone right here for a ball, but he's got to bring it back in, rein that thing in a little bit. At the belt, the 1-0. Right. And he looks at a slider that's in there, 1-1. One one. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball, to the outside corner. Paint the black, get the call. The hitter gave up on it, he got the pitching on. There's a swing and a miss at the fastball, it's 1-2. and two. But Gary, he's a very aggressive hitter on a 1-2 count. He's going to swing at that borderline pitch, so... I'm going to try to expand the strike zone right here. Oh. Strike three. Bullhole swings and misses. Turned away empty-handed. 
He's got a shot of getting out of this now. Big time out. Now he's got two down. He's only one out away from working out of this jam. And here's the first one. Oh, one. There's a strike from Carmona. Now an 0-1 count. Well, clearly the pitcher's in control right here. This guy really struggles on the fastball when he's behind in the count. So look for the heat. Oh! He'll leave that one for a ball, and Dave Freeze gets the count even. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's one and two. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. Oh, I don't know how you lay off that sinker, but it's 2-2. Two -two. Gary, he's aggressive on the 2-2 two -two count, so if he's going to go down, he's going down swinging. Let's see if the pitcher can hit his spot. Pitch on the way. Your fastball swung on and missed, side retired. Well, that's not what we wanted there. He'll dig in, start of the fourth inning. The pitch from Wainwright. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. That'll be an easy out. One away. They had the outfield swung around to right that time, so they had a long way to go to run that ball down. Laporta in the box. Grounded out last time. Here's the first pitch. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Well, the hitter just missed this one. Osdrobel gets the RBI chance. One for two in the ballgame. Had a base hit his last time up. And he starts Cabrera out. Way down the line and left. That's the second. Here comes the runner for the plate. The run scores. Now we're tied. That was not what I wanted. And Cougars in the box. He singled in his last at bat. Base hit his last time. Base is empty, one out. Here's the first pick. Fouled off. Foul! wide that time for a ball. And Santana sets up his target. Drilled towards third. Rolling into the corner. That's going to be extra bases. And he's in at second with a double. One out. He talked about a happy guy right there, so is his manager. Getting there to second base, two outs to work with now for his offense. Let's see if his teammates can bring him in. So a runner in scoring position for Albert Pujols. Hitting 229 lifetime off the Indians. First pitch to Pujols. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Fielded by Cabrera. High throw, he is safe at first. High throw, he is safe at first. Oh, he has thrown it away, safe all around. Oh, and a wild throw. That was a mistake. The pitch from Carmona. Oh. Catcher can't control it. And if it was down that way, I would have took off. But I'm not taking any chances with that. Ready with a 1-0. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. That'll go, 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 go. Now we got, now we're back on front by one. This is stress. I went back to that base and touched it just in case and I took off. We're gonna get us started here in the sixth. And we're only leading by one. The pitch from Wainwright. Swung on, hit by Chu. That one's gone. This ball was headed to the gap, but the left fielder got a good jump on it, able to run it down and make the play. And Cougars in the box. He doubled and later scored right. his last go around. Come on, let's go get a home run, baby. Come on, let's get a home run. I won. And the first pitch. Swung up. Uh, no home hit. run there. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. Well, that sucks. Just what his team needed. He continues to swing. 
swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. Now the opportunity, Albert Pujols. No one out and a runner on first. Go. Oh, and he takes off for second. Ah, oh. uh, too late. And he is out trying to take second. Gary, he struggles with runners on base, so look for them to go right at him at the plate now. Two outs. A line drive, foot short. That's in there. Should score the runner. Leave a pitch over the center of the plate like that, you're going to pay for it. Uh, no doubt about it. Big leaguers take advantage of those kinds of mistakes. All right, there it is. We push the button. That's it. That is it. I did it. I did it. The chess game that managers play. There's no better piece than. I did it. I won the World Series. Because it neutralized the pitching decision. Let's go. I did it. I did it. I did it. I just cannot believe it. I did it. You did a great job getting the meat of the bat on the ball and earned each of those three hits. Good job. I did it. I end up winning the World Series. I did it. I can't believe that is it. We end up winning the final score three to two. We just officially won the World Series. I just cannot believe it. We absolutely did it. Oh boy, guys, this is crazy. Win the World Series. You're one step closer to becoming a Hall of Famer. Uh, buddy, we just won the World Series. We have already won the World Series. All worry and. Congratulations, you completed a Hall of Fame goal. Win the World Series. Now let's go to let's go our, let's go to our Hall of Fame progress. So I completed seven out of twelve I needed to do for my Hall of Fame career. And of course, I haven't did not win the Best Field Award. I didn't win that unofficially, but everything else I did get. So I completed all this. I officially got a World Series in, in, into my name right now. But yeah, so that's about it. So um, I'm very excited to, to share that with you all. And yeah, again, my face looks dumb and stupid. Once again, everybody, I hope you all enjoy this. The St. Louis Cardinals have won the World Series. And there it is. We did it. We won the World Series. We cleaned the house, which I didn't record these two on camera. I kind of wish I did. It would have been pretty cool to record a little series of that. But so let me know in the comment section, you all, if we should do this for a career mode. Let me know if we should do this for a career mode. I'm up, I'm up for it. So once again, everybody, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And thank you all so much, you all, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the baseball world series in real life. Hope your team, like I said, hope your team wins. The comment down below, who's your favorite team? Who did you want it or who should have went to the World Series in the first place? I know some people will say the Braves should have easily would have won that game. Yeah. But anything could happen in baseball. Anything could happen. So that is it, everybody. We did it. We won the World Series. So once again, I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday and weekend. Stay safe out there. And I hope you all enjoyed this little series that we did. I really appreciate you all. And thank you all. Stay safe. And we'll see you all on Monday with a new video. I'll see you all then. Take care, everybody.